Hey everybody, how's it going? It's July and it's another new Ashes of Creation Cash Shop Cosmetic Update. I'm Squeedy and uh, we're going to get into it today, but before we get into it, I would really appreciate it if everybody could subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and check me out. I got Squeedy.com, my Facebook, I'm Squeedy as well, and Twitch, uh, which I don't do too much, but hey, I'm on there every once in a while. So I would appreciate if you guys could like, subscribe, follow all that other fun stuff on all my platforms. And uh, let's get into it. All right, everybody. So this new uh, cosmetic theme this month is called Zenith's Advent. Um, I assume I'm saying that right. It starts on July 7th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And it will go until August 4th at 11 a.m. like every time. Uh, so if you want to get the previous package... The Deeds of the Dauntless, you've got a couple hours left basically to get it by the time this video goes up. Uh, I don't have pricing, but we can assume by all the pricing from the previous, uh, what do you call it, uh, months that we know vaguely what we're probably going to get. They don't really deviate from their pricing model pretty much at all. Um, first up is the Bulb Bag. It, it looks like just a purse. I guess. Um, just simple purse, flower petal, it's got some vines coming out from around it, like candles. Um, pretty interesting little design. I'm not too much into it. It's described as an accessory for a cosmetic skin. So I don't know, if, do we get to carry purses around or bags? I, I don't know. Um, but let me go through the description here. Conveniently light and durable, the unusually large bulb used in the this bag's construction can be found perched at the top of some of Land's towering stalks. Um, so it was possessive, Land's towering. So I assume there's, maybe, I don't know, there, there's a location that we can go to where we can find these bulbs or the, for the uh, these flowers. Um, in addition to being a simple container, the bulb possesses other medicinal properties prior to harvesting. Luckily for the harvesters, there seem to be no proportionally sized insects. Well, that's nice to hear. Um, I feel like that's a hint that there is, in fact, proportionally large insects in the area, wherever those flowers are. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of these little cosmetic items, but, eh, you know, hey, it's, it is what it is. If you like it, great, go for it. I'm not going to spend that. I believe it's probably going to be like five bucks. Then the next up, we have the little, cute little shaded duckling. Um, so we got a little chicky duck here. Uh, it's got like a purple flower. Um, sitting on its head. almost looks like a hat, <laughs> honestly. Um, I could see a character walking around with that hat. And uh, it's got purple little feet, purple beak. So it's got a theme, and it's kind of has like green vines or uh, roots going through the back and the skull and leaves coming out of the feathers. So it's kind of like a mix of plant animal. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, it's labeled as a pet cosmetic skin, so I believe that's about $10, $15. And I'll, I'll put the prices up as I go, as I can figure them out. I'll go back in the previous month, so don't quote me on my, what I say, but what you see on the screen. Um, the unsuspecting duckling was discovered alone in the midst of a forest downpour by a roving ranger. After a time, the ranger could not find the creature's mother and noticed that the duckling had taken a liking to following his new companion. Sensing this bond, the ranger gifted his new friend a simple flower hat. Should it ever rain once more, some passers by some passer passers by Jess asking if the feathered friend was a disciple to a renowned mage. Uh, that's fun. So he left the the guy put a flower, the ranger put a flower on this duck as a hat, and then left. I'm pretty sure by the design that that flower like I don't know if it's evil. It morphed into that duckling, but whatever. That's, that's for another day. All right, so this month we have a mounted, mount cosmetic skin called the Crested Sun Plume, which is a very cool-looking duck, I guess. Um, it's very vibrant colors. It's got that cool saddle. It's got the reins kind of going on its beak. I can't really... I guess there's little dot eyes on it in the white there. It's kind of looking weird. It's got that huge mohawk. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, if it had like a, they have gliding in the game. If, it, if you could glide with this one, that'd be super cool. And if you could swim a little, maybe slightly faster with it, that'd be pretty cool as a nice little buff. Uh, the description goes, 
a large species of duck possessing a brilliant pattern, pattern of feathers. The sun plume can dash to and fro, appearing as a prismatic blur to onlookers. That means that's got to go fast, um, I assume, or it's got some magical effect. Lakes and rivers pose no challenge to this elegant beast either. Oh, excuse me. As it wades through the water, quacking all the while. <laughs> that's funny. Unsurprisingly, these birds are prized for their feathers, with some merchants who have come across them spreading rumors of their mystical properties to unwitty citizens. I was going to say civilians, but citizens. I should probably read all the words. Um, so this one looks pretty good. I'm like, I like mounts and stuff in games. I like collecting them. I played my last MMO I got into was Swotor, and boy, did I have every mount. Um, and even in Star Wars Galaxies, my other big MMO beforehand, I had I had a lot, and I had really rare stuff, and that was my that was my thing to show off my mounts. I've done pretty good about not purchasing every month's mounts, especially because some I wasn't into, luckily. Um, but this one, I I may throw on one of my extra accounts I have. I have one for my son and just like an extra third account. I don't know if I'm ever if I'm what's going to go with that third account or how I'm going to play it. Because I have a feeling more and more of this game is shown, I'm, I'm going to be very much focused on my main account. Uh, it's going to be hard to make alt accounts. <laughs> but we shall see. So maybe I'll get this. I don't think I have any cosmetics at all for the third one. Uh, excuse me. So moving on to the armor for this week, or the costume cosmetic. It's called the Nestled Vine Vestment. So it's pretty cool looking. I don't know. If, I doubt you get the swords with it. Um, but it has a totally, it, this looks very much like fall in my opinion. They should, I think they should have waited, but there's this purple theme going throughout and, and, and nature in this. So there's uh, purple wristbands, purple flowers all over the armor. Um, you have the green sash around the waist and you have flowers with the leggings and kind of like the shoulder pads. It's very, very cool, very fall themed. You know, if they do, like, large seasons in the game that maybe last, like, a couple weeks at a time, I could totally see people getting this kind of armor and wearing it, or the costume, I should say, and wearing it for the months or weeks or whatever it is that has these, uh, the seasons. Well, I, I don't know how they're going to work, but I, I look very much forward to it. Um, so let's read the description here. Carefully woven using the golden leaves which crown the highest trees. There's a theme of high plants or bulbs and trees here, and adorned with petals and toughened roots. This regalia is primarily used for ceremonial purposes. Oh, okay, so we don't fight with it? <laughs> uh, worships or, worshippers at the height of their rituals have claimed to be enveloped by an all-encompassing warmth as their very spirit seemingly, seemingly walks forth into those gleaming rays. So that's pretty cool. I... I that is nice. I do like how the boots, like, they do t look like their roots. I do, I, I very much look forward to seeing this in game. Will I buy it? Uh, that's unlikely. But next up we have the, um, every month they do a, either they do a caravan or they do, like, a boat. Um, I didn't think they would do this many boat cosmetics, but naval water stuff must be very prevalent of what they're going to have in the game. That's why they're having so many skins. Or it's just a great way to sell stuff, honestly, which is fine. Um, but this boat mount this week is the Drifting Petal. Um, so it's a plain naval cosmetic. It's a per it's a little boat. It almost looks like it's a rowboat, honestly. Um, I wish they would describe more of what the boat sizes were, if they worked for certain boat sizes. Because if, if like, you get a rowboat, and they say this uh, pedal boat, Drifting Petal, is only rowboat, well, maybe I want to spend money on a larger frigate or something. Or galley or whatever they're going to call it. So that way I can have a cool skin on each one. But if I, this is the, if I, this skin only works, is going to be for all of them, I don't care. You know, I wish they would say that. But I don't think they know yet. <laughs> um, but this, it looks cool. It's a, it's a plain little row with, boat with a little sail in the middle. Um. It's got green vines all over, purple flowers, little purple flag at the top. You know, you got your um, sails with green vines going up it to kind of support it, I guess. 
and like almost like a tree trunk in the middle, like an old tree trunk that's like rotted down, but it's your center of your boat. <laughs> um, but this does like the picture makes it look very small. So I'm slightly hesitant to how big this will be. Um, the description we have for it is adorned with various wreaths of flowers and sealed using a special lavender lacquer. Boats such as this one were often used for leisure on the lakes, so hinting at a smaller boat. A popular activity was to observe the dawn shine from the water surface. Though seemingly ancient, the vessel glides through the water as if a fish just blew just below the surface. <laughs> fish blew on. Man, I'm really bad at reading. Oh well, whatever. Um, not gonna buy this. It looks girly. Um, no, I, I, I usually get dark stuff or uh, heavy armor kind of cosmetics. I really like, um, or like broken stuff. I really like broken stuff. So like, it looks like I have a busted boat coming into combat. Um, but this one will not will not be flying for me. So, the last item of this week is the freehold building cosmetic. It is called Hilled Hobble. It very much looks like a hobbit house i don't know what they call them i know there's a term for no i whatever it is someone in comments let me know i know some will um but the hill hobble it, it it looks really cool it's got you know you got your little hobbit door with the roots of the tree kind of making the entrance way with the actual wooden door made you have a pretty large tree growing out of the top and you got those purple flowers Honestly, I don't, like, I get the whole spring thing. I think they should have thrown some, thrown some, like, flowers in the tree, maybe, or something. Maybe, like, an apple tree. I don't know. Or some sort of fruit tree. But, uh, like, I feel like some of these items are kind of, like, stretching on the connection. Like, it's all, like, the armor seems to felt like fall to me, not spring. But this does have a spring feel and everything with the purple flowers and the, the bright green colors. Um, so the description of this cosmetic is, This hobble is a favorite of those looking for a stronger connection to the land. Being a place that warms the spirit, a few naturalists have taken to attuning themselves to the energy of the earth. Uh, should be of the Vera, but okay. Uh, finding the sun's rays feeding into the soil. Inhabitants claim that being in such a home seems to slow down the flow of time. Pretty cool. So, I, I, I actually, this, you know, the tree, the hobble, I really do like. Like, it looks cool. And I might get it for, I don't know what I'll get it for, honestly, which account or how I'm going to set it up. I have the, my main account has the old, like, I think it's like the first or second month they had cosmetics. It was a woodland caravan. It was like a log, basically, that was your caravan. Um, I bought that. I bought something else that was themed with that month, and I think this would go really well with that theme if I wanted a more, more natural um, looking thing. You know, if I had elves as my character, that'd be great, I think. I guess dwarves would be good, too, here, kind of doing the Hobbit feel. So, and like usual, they have the Wayfarer package, the Expeditionary package, the Voyager, the Voyager Plus, and they have the Adventure with the Alpha One Access. Um, now added, which gives you everything. Um, so with that, they're all pretty good values. I'm not going to go really over those. They haven't really changed in months. You know if you get this, you get all those selections. I'll just put the pictures up here. You can kind of go over and look at them. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm really happy with this month's stuff. I, honestly, oh, man, if I had a girlfriend, if I had a girlfriend and I wanted to get her something cute, I would get her that duck. In a heartbeat, she'd have that duck on her account. Um, but yeah, no, it's it, I, I really like these. They have the Hilled Hobble, I'm I'm really gonna think about getting it. I believe that's gonna be like twenty five bucks. Um, I'm always happy to support this game. I've dropped a ton of money on it to the point where I'm like, well, maybe I'm gonna stop forever, but I won't. Um, the armor's all right. The duck, the crested sun plume's pretty cool, but. Overall, not a bad, uh, not a bad cash shop uh, cosmetic week. So, anyways, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much ends it for me. Um, I'd really appreciate, it. like I said earlier, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, check me out on Twitch, Facebook, my own website, Squeedy.com. Um, I really appreciate the like, subscription, leave comments, let me know what you think, let me know what your main purchase you think is going to be this week. I'd really, I really, I really want to see. I'm interested in seeing what people are going to go for. So, if you got anything you want. 
to focus on, you know, let me know. Um, that's all I got, guys. So I appreciate it. Have a good one. I'm Squeedy, and I'll uh, catch you all later. Bye.